Hello everyone and welcome to Fallout 76. This mission walkthrough is going to include some very major plot spoilers for the game so if you don't want that then I suggest that you click off of it. Um, I was originally going to do this as a voiceover but uh, I have very bad electronic background as you probably can hear. So we're just going to sit back and let the walkthrough play through. And if you like this video, smash the like button, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already, and without further ado, let's get into the mission. Glad you're here. Maybe the two of us together can talk some sense into this machine. The Overseer mentioned there would be more people coming. Assuming there even is a restricted section, and I am not verifying that neither of you have Baltic University. Credentials. Faculty and staff determine who goes where in this university. Not nah, former students. I might be the only human being connected to this place that's still alive. My authority doesn't override yours? No. It does not. And for the record, I was the dissenting opinion on fast tracking your overseer assignment. You are not pushing your way through me. The condition of the outside world is not my problem. I see neither of you are going to relent very well. There is a problem you can help me with. This university needs graduates. And <coughs> while your overseer has already been through the program, you are living and breathing enough to join this year's class. This Living is ridiculous. Enough. Even if we had four years to waste, which we don't, the university is empty. There's no professors anymore. Emergency protocols allow the Mr. Handy janitorial staff to run entrance straight through to the final exam. Their ability to run the fault simulation is experimental, but more than adequate for the task. You will be given a scenario that you need to accomplish in the fault simulation area. The handies will play as the residents you need to oversee. Glad we agree. In this test scenario, your fall has divided into factions. You must resolve the conflict any way you see fit. Your chief of security will fill you in on the details. Good luck. I'm not familiar with this test scenario. Professor Bott must have come up with it on his own.
You're the new overseer. Heck of a boiling pot you're stepping into. A little tiff between the engineers and the med staff is ready to blow. Um, I don't quite know how to respond to that. Getting back to it, there was a reactor leak. Kellerman, head engineer's apprentice, rushed in to fix it. Poor kid got a full dose of rads. That's not the worst of it. Dr. Loras, head of the medical team, refused to send in help. Quarantined the reactor area so nobody died trying to go in there. Head engineer Brass accused the doctor of murder. Then, a couple days later, people noticed that one of the doctor's assistants, Estella, was missing. Everyone thinks it's a revenge killing. An eye for an eye. No. There's no evidence, no weapon, not one speck of blood. I'm at a loss, Overseer. Need you to make sense of all this. Sorry I couldn't be of more help. I'll be here if you need me, Overseer. Did you have a question, Overseer? That's not really my place to say, Overseer. But taking either of them in could spell trouble. They each have a loyal team to call on. I'm so glad you've stepped into this little mess of ours. I'm sure you'll resolve the matter swiftly. I don't have a feud with Brass. He has a feud with me. I'm only doing my job, Overseer, looking out for the health of the vault. And I'm sorry to say that, in my medical opinion, the chief engineer is suffering from paranoia and revenge fixation. We can't let that fester. Oh, nasty business. But I'm not going to apologize for it. It had to be done. As doctors, we take an oath to do no harm. But sometimes, we have to choose between saving one life or saving several. Simple. You can authorize me to place the head engineer under medical supervision. A combination of chems and therapy will do the rest. There might be some protest, but I think our combined authority will keep that to a minimum. An ideal solution, Overseer. I'd expect nothing less from you. How can I help? I'm afraid I can't really comply with that request, Overseer. The reactor is under quarantine. The radiation could kill you. Very well. As long as you take all the necessary precautions, here.
Yes, Overseer? Not yet. No. Don't care what security says. Dr. Loris had no right to quarantine the reactor. Leaving Kellerman to die? Murder. That's all there is to it. I want justice, Overseer. Did they tell you how me and my crew scoured every inch of this vault looking for her? Yeah, that's right. Every loose access panel and every vent. You think I wanted anyone else to die? The only one here that cold-blooded is Dr. Loris. He proved that with Kellerman. Couldn't, could we? Only Loris and his staff have access once an area is quarantined. No. Half this vault thinks he did the right thing. You do anything to him now, that split will turn violent. I want him exposed. Prove to everyone that he's the bad gear in this vault's engine. If he goes quietly, all the better. Less chance of his staff getting up in arms. Vault simulation, run by robots. Be prepared for anything. Just remember, the goal of all these simulations is to keep the vault running, and under your authority. Dr. Loris's assistant. I snuck into the reactor to help Kellerman, but there's not enough time. The reactor is going to go critical. I'm dosing Kellerman with enough right away so he can finish fixing it, but the radiation is going to get us. At least the vault will be safe. Anything I can do to help, just ask. You found her? Poor lass. I'm guessing she didn't make it. Let's take a listen then. So she wasn't murdered. She was trying to save Kellerman. Two of them ended up saving us all. This is big news, Overseer. We take this to Brass and Loras. It could end the infighting for good. At once, Overseer! Everyone, gather in the common area! 
We have an important announcement from the Overseer. What's this about, Robinson? I have charts to update. Maybe the Overseer's finally decided to throw your murderous backside in jail. That's enough! The Overseer has discovered what happened to Estella. This holotape proves she went into the quarantined reactor area on her own. She and Kellerman saved the vault. They... Work together? Medical and engineering? Oh, we've been fools, Brass. Bickering like two old men while the young ran off to solve our problems. It should have been us. I... actually agree with you there. So that's it then? No more arguing? You'll both work under the Overseer's authority? Yes. Yeah. It's the right thing to do. Good job. That's a solution any Overseer should be proud for getting to. Everyone learns we have to work together. Appears you passed the test, barely exceeding my low expectations of you. Yes, I suppose we had a deal. You are officially a graduate of Voltec University. Entitled to access to all areas. Back down in the vault, simulation space is a maintenance area. It conceals a secondary room that I believe will have what you are looking for. It was almost good to see you again, Professor Bot. Yes, Overseer, I suppose it was. Congratulations on one of your residents passing the program. You must be proud. Actually, I am. Afraid I don't have my old cap and gown to share with you. Hopefully, what we'll find in the restricted wing will be even better.
Where the hell am I supposed to go? Uh, where are you at now? I'm in, I'm in the secret area. Where? Oh. confused on what I'm supposed to be looking for. Are you in the secret room? I'm in the secret wing, restricted wing, but... Okay, you're looking for a, um, little, uh... This is back out. This leads back into where... What? No, you're looking for a, um... Shit, I forget what they call them. Projection machine. Projector? Yeah, projector. It's gonna play something. You gotta watch something. Um. Uh. 
Misa thinks I found it. Here. This has to be it. Yeah, the overseer like just confirmed I just found it. <laughs> For once, the rumor mill gets it right. There is a treasure in that vault. All of America's gold reserves. Even getting into the vault at all is gonna be a challenge. Let alone dealing with that buffet line of intrusion countermeasures. But the reward? Put aside the base instinct of hoarding wealth. What could we do with a vault full of precious metals? Exactly. No more barter or wild, unregulated proxies. It won't happen overnight, 
But one day we could have leverage to create a new economy, property rights, taxes, laws, a government. We won't be able to do it alone. We need help. Even more importantly, we need people to buy in. To see that gold is their future. Fortunately, you just made contact with two large groups of people who both seem to have their own talents. Do me a favor, talk to both of them. I doubt they'll work together, but we'll want all the options on the table. Alright, even with bad background noise, I feel like I need to actually say something on this one. So, now we got a choice of going to talk to Meg or Paige. Now, because I've already done this and this is now in the editing phase, I will let you know that um, this is a choice. Like, you have to pick one or the other. Even though the Overlord told you to talk to both of them, when... I go to the settlers because as you can see settlers are my besties more because that's how I'm building this character yeah, I can only pick them for some reason
but here's a dialogue with them anyway. The time I miss being inside the vault is when the weather is bad. There's all the vault dweller from 76. What is it? We're usually in the build, not break business. But sometimes you gotta demolish an old space, so... Maybe. Why? Which vault are you talking about? Huh. Oh, I see. Interesting. Client was obviously paranoid about security. Lasers, turrets, super thick walls. This is about that treasure, isn't it? So it's not bull after all. It's in this vault, and you want us to help you get it. You got some grand scheme to reignite the basis of capital. And all that other money talk the lobbyists on the hill would always yammer about. That's all well and good. But my concern is how that gold can help us right here, right now. How it can help the people of Foundation. <sighs> Look, let's say I believe you. A structure like this, you need some serious equipment to do any demo work. It could be used to barter for all kinds of things we need. Supplies, better defenses, materials to build and expand. We could get a real foothold here, not just for today, but for the future. If it was just cutting, lifting, a little mortar work, we got that covered. But that's not what you're asking for. We need to find a weak point in this structure and bust through it. That means drilling into reinforced lead, lined concrete, and steel. You find us something that can do that, we can handle finding the right spot to hit for you. Well, hand drills ain't gonna cut it, I can tell you that right now. We need something industrial level. Appalachia's mining country, right? We need something like that. Breach through miles of hard rock in a minute. Maybe check a few of the drilling equipment companies. See if they left anything behind. Thanks for helping me out back there. I talked to Paige about this plague of yours. 
made sure he takes this inoculation seriously. That Nuka-Cola inoculation of yours was a pretty smart concoction. I never would have thought to use that old manufacturing plant. 